on Maryland Highway 200. Officer Yancey Anthony patrols with two extra sets of eyes. Cameras mounted on his cruiser's trunk scan and photograph the license tags of passing cars, sounding alarms when possible violators are spotted. So here's an alarm. The license readers instantly check plates and the names of vehicle owners against registration records, fugitive warrants, and criminal databases giving police critical information. I can, do, I can hit the red button, I can lock that in. In this case, the camera alerted Officer Anthony to a silver Toyota. Listen, I reached my stop, your tags are coming back suspended. License readers can scan 1,800 plates a minute on cars going as fast as 150 miles an hour. What's amazing is this is reading every tag that goes by? Every tag that goes by, it'll read. So every single vehicle, you have a pretty instantaneous idea whether there might be some violation. That's correct. The data are also funneled to Maryland's Intelligence Center, which connects and monitors 367 license plate readers around the state. Assistant U.S. Attorney Harvey Eisenberg oversees the network. Say we want to find a homicide suspect, a rape suspect, or whatever. You put that into the systems, that's a vehicle you want to pay attention to. The officers out on the street are getting information about the potential location almost in real time. They are getting in real time. Someone is out there with a weapon, there's a homicide suspect and known to be armed. You're going to want to approach that vehicle differently if you're a trooper. Eisenberg says the readers have helped capture dangerous fugitives, but they're also used beyond the freeways. During President Obama's inauguration, the cameras helped scan for tags of specific vehicles connected to possible threats. And some 500 readers on the U.S. border feed data into terror watch lists. You know, it's kind of twofold. We're getting Tax departments use them as well. Arlington, Virginia relies on scanners to locate the cars of delinquent taxpayers. For the worst offenders, officials remove the tags. Privacy advocates complain the cameras allow governments to track people's travels. But Eisenberg says for law enforcement, the scanners are critical. I mean, you have to understand, though, so, some people think this is a little creepy. We have nothing to hide. There's nothing villainous about this. This is simply law enforcement trying to do its job within the law. New Hampshire so far is the only state to ban license plate readers. In Maryland, authorities are looking to expand the program. Bobber, CBS News, Rockville, Maryland.